All right, so uh, good morning once again, and you're welcome again to the AM show. Yes. And uh, I was just smiling because <laughs> Enimwa uh, was making reference to the fact that I use, I use 11 to minutes you. to do Happy the newspaper. Yeah, Happy birthday to you. Oh, I'm okay. gonna cry. It's I guess okay. <laughs> there must be any worse kids. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? What's your name? Sedinam. Sedinam. Okay. Kekeli. And Kekeli. Yes. Oh, great. And you called to wish your mom happy birthday. Yes. Who put you up to this? <laughs> Me. It's only it's us. <laughs> it's their own idea. Good morning, people. How are you guys? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You made me cry two years ago. You're making me cry this morning as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is nice. Okay, go to school. Hey. Okay. <laughs> is that what you tell them? Make sure you're not late for school. Sadie, Kakali, thank you guys so much. Uh, and we pray that you mm -hmm. will you will get a lot of blessings Amen. and that God bless you every day Amen. and that you, you will become a great great woman. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Amen. I'll call you guys when we finish, okay? Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, babies. Thank you very much, Sadie uh, Kelly. And, uh, the Lord listens to the prayers of, of children. his children. Yeah. Yeah. They always, you know, make me emotional. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> All right, let's get on with the okay. Uh, newspapers. And, uh, yeah, newspapers. I, I'm, I'm not going to use 11 minutes to I mean. do the <laughs> daily graphic. Too. Yeah, okay, well, we look forward to, to that. I'm going to start with the Ghanaian Times this morning. Um, on the front page, Auditor General's report, DVLA ordered to recover 1.3 million CDs um, tax from 19 private test stations for GRA. President and tour of Bono region. Now the 2021 census is officially over. 99.4% of the population have been counted. That's according to the PHC. And five kidnappers remanded in police custody in Ketekrache. Now there's a story on page three that's very disturbing. An 11 year old boy has committed suicide. So um, this happened in Atonsu Bokro in the Asukwa municipality of the Ashanti region. The little boy is identified as Otrebwating, a class four pupil of the Dompoise MA primary school. Now apparently what happened was that his grandmother asked him to go with her to the market and he said he didn't want to. And when she came back, um, she came to find his body hanging from a ceiling fan. And um, the Asukwa police, yes, Asukwa police have arrested two sons of the grandmother to assist in the investigation. Um, so we, we really would be interested to hear um, how, how this happened. I mean, 11 year old, you know, committing suicide is, is um, terrifying. Anybody committing suicide is terrifying, but. Okay, other stories, sanctioned telcos for poor service delivery. The CPA tells Ministry of Communications and Digitalization um, and also, um, Africa News, Ethiopia is using rape as a strategy of war, um, which is really horrific, absolutely horrific. Algerian forest fires spread as death toll soars. It's burning in a lot of countries, yeah. isn't it, Izzy? Um, in, the, in Greece. Greece as well, as well yeah. yeah. And then there was flooding, I think, in Australia. And then it's just a lot of things that are going on. Um, okay, other stories. NPA bans OMCs from selling petroleum products to third parties. Two dead dozens trapped in India um, landslide. Wow, this 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 an ongoing um, feature. Who is the founder of Modern Ghana? Uh, it's on page nine. If you're interested in that, selling NPP ideals will make it formidable to win election 2024. NDC proposes electoral reforms, suggesting splitting the EC into two. Another interesting one there. New Cocoa Board Board tasked to sustain achievements in the cocoa sector. And center spread, President uh, ends tour of Bono region. DVLA ordered to recover 1.3 million tax CDs, 1.3 million CDs tax from 19 private stations. The GMA has removed 21,000 tree stumps in two years 
from the Volta Lake. And um, Izzy, they're still, you know, not, um, we haven't changed the template yet. Ah. Um, that um, that uh, <laughs> campaign continues. Um, let's see what else we have in the Ghanaian Times this morning. Ghana Online Drivers Association organizes security consciousness training for members. Um, the Western Region Branch of the Ghana Online Drivers. Ghana Online, okay, never mind. I, I don't, yeah. Fishers in good catch after closed season. Um, you remember that story about Hama Kumsin and oh, when yeah. she went to, um, yes. Closed but it, and then opened. Open, then. yes, closed and open. But anyway, um, it's open season again, and apparently they're getting some good fish. So, I mean, which is why the closed season is so important, so that we can allow the fishes to, you know, re, re, um, reproduce and all of that. 40% of startup businesses in Ghana do not make profit. That's according to um, Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Chamber of Young Entrepreneurs. And um, let's do some sports. A Champong Wakaso ready for new CSL challenge. GFA takes delivery of referees kits. MTN swag digital training for sports journalists ends. The Australian Olympic athletes are facing a 28-day quarantine. Messi dreams Champions League win with the, with PSG. Oh, that should be in, that that should be interesting and that should be expected of that consider, considering how much they paid um, for him and how much they are paying him every week. Yeah. And just in case you know you need something to panic about um, this morning, Messi is earning one million pounds every week, every week, every seven days, like every Friday. One million pounds drops you don't have minus to tax. You don't have to rub it in. Yeah. Um, okay. How much is dropping in your account every Friday? It's okay. It's okay, all right. That's how I feel I mean, about... We're not having that That's how I feel about hearts of folk. So, well, sorry. Um, on really? The back, yeah, on the back page of the Ghanaian Times, Adakulu Dave chips compound nearing completion. And Olam supports OLL SHS with menstrual... Um, pads. I'm not sure why the picture of the health minister is there as well. But anyways. Ah, but were you expecting them to put menstrual pads? <laughs> let's let's move on to the daily graphic, and um, it has on this front page: year of roads, asphalt overlay improved. It's six thirty-eight. Israel is starting the daily graphic read. Okay, cool. Year of roads, asphalt overlay in progress. Accra roads, uh, regional capitals. Beneficiaries, COVID 19 protocols enforcement at ministries, embrace technology panelists at Graphic Business Access Bank Clinic, tell SMEs, and government investing to tackle uh, piracy in uh, that's a Ghana Maritime Authority. Then on page five, Zambia votes today. And uh, we move on to page. Nine, where the Ojira wildfire story is, uh, so we're skipping that. And health, value for money strategy launched uh, in health sector launched. Mm. And uh, it says the Ministry of Health has launched a five-year health technology priority setting strategy that will help the selection of the best options regarding health interventions to boost value for money and health outcomes. The strategy, strategy is known as Ghana Health Technology Assessment Strategy and it's the first edition. Health technology in the context of the strategy refers to medicines, vaccines, devices, procedures, and systems developed to solve a health problem and improve quality of life. So basically the cheapest way to get things done. Yeah. Basically, okay. Okay, and uh, two organizations address public health issues. So moving on and- um, The president has broken his silence on Ajiman Mini. Yeah, but he didn't really say much. No. If you look at the story, so we have the story on the front page. Uh, well, we have the story on my journal online. And essentially, they're saying the president is teasing yeah. Ajima Menu. Yes. Yeah. So he didn't really say that it was going to sack him or. Nothing substantive yeah. like that. So, and then PNC calls on president to act on health minister's conduct. And uh, minority demands abrogation of 570 million dollar Temamoto a contract. So the minority held a news uh, conference and they're saying that they want that contract abrogated. Now government has responded and they're indicating that, well, that contract or the ministry has responded. It says that contract really, the minority's issue is that the contract should have been brought to parliament okay. and it hasn't been done. And uh, the ministry is essentially saying that, yes, we haven't brought it yet, 
because we are still in the process, but we will bring it to. At some uh, point. Yeah. You, we well. are waiting for At you. At some point. And uh, the NDC is proposing that we split EC into two bodies. There's a number of proposals that the NDC is tabling. Uh, for them, uh, for splitting the EC into two separate bodies, namely an office for the regulation of political parties and an electoral commission by amending the Political Parties Act. So they want to have these two, one to regulate the political parties and then the other to take up the other functions of uh, the... It's just one of uh, many proposals that yeah, they have yeah, tabled. Yeah. I mean, we encourage... The, these things must be encouraged because it's the political parties making these proposals that tend to improve the electoral system. So, yeah. And, and also uh, perhaps to, um, to gain back a little faith. Okay. Because you know the thing about the electoral commission and the, the electoral commission is that it, the, the person is appointed by one government and it's for life. Yeah. You know, so when there's dialogue, I feel like then the opposition, you know, or the government that didn't appoint them, you know, sort of feel like, okay, this is um, an office that we can speak to, that we can contribute, we are heard. And so it instills confidence I agree. Um, in, in that office. I, at least that's what I think. I agree. So, yeah. so improve internet coverage nationwide on Manhini Edges uh, government. Uh, that's Bafo Usu Pediaku, Paramount Chief of the Domi Abra traditional area. Access Bank commits to stronger partnership with SMEs and uh, tap potentials, potential of northern regions as an Indian high commissioner. Let's move on to the center spread, uh, which is still in your center spread. <laughs> Be prepare to fail fight threat of terrorists. That's mm. the National Peace Council. And President inaugurates Bono Regional Ghana National Fire Service Headquarters and Maternity Block. And uh, the asphalt overlay uh, photos are on page 26. And I, I'm saying, so if you having had um, your area Asphalted. The roads in your area asphalted yet. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Wait your turn. And uh, probably also not part of the plan. I don't know if something like this should make the national newspaper. Well, that roads are being done. I mean, it seems like the, the bare minimum, isn't it, though? Well, they're not really being done. They are being asphalted. I mean, overly. same difference. Like, point is, they are doing the road, like, and it's in the newspapers. Like, anyway, yeah, and okay. And it's front page. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right. Then. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, it's, it's Ghana. Yeah. Okay, and uh, move on to page um, th 32, where on education, the Vasti administrators want UTAG strike results. So the Ghana Union Association of Vesti administrators uh, has urged the government to expedite the force to resolve are uh, resolving the University Teachers Association of Ghana and PAS and all other university workers fairly to avoid a total close down of uh, public universities. Moving on, uh, boss charge boss board charge to address challenges hindering growth and 44 million mobile money accounts in operation. That's mm, a lot. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. A, a whole lot. And this story mm -hmm. that I'm interested in, few celebs in GH. The rest are noise makers. This, this is in the sh showbiz segment. <laughs> <laughs> and it's by movie producer Atabuache. He says, uh, so the story goes, thanks to social media, the path to fame has been made very easy these days. Now, people do not have to put in too much work. They can go the controversial route on social media and find themselves in the limelight. Okay, in fact, so, yeah, when they go viral. Not everybody is happy with how some people have become famous so uh, quickly or easily, especially for, uh, not for their talents, and they have spoken out against the... So he goes on, uh, this movie producer, Atabwachi, goes on to name a few people he thinks are celebs and... Uh, the rest of them, yeah, you're just uh, you know, noise makers. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's right. And Marco Kumante engages creative industry players. That's the Deputy Minister of Tourism, uh, Arts and Culture, Marco Kumante. Oh, there was one. Um, well, oh, yeah. Uh, on page 40, we have um, Oswald's School. Christ Ambassadors, Aww. they put out um, an advert to say thank you to all the companies that donated 
to Oswald on or to the school in Oswald. So, so there are over 100 companies yeah, across yeah, yeah. Ghana. They've listed, they've listed all of them, Professor Jena, Nopukwa, Jaman, Kidi, Dope Nation, Mr. Drew, Unilever Ghana Limited, uh, Cake Home. Well, they're, they're all in there. Wow. So you, can, you can grab a, a copy of the wow, Daily Graphic. Wow, that's so nice. And, and get that. This thing, I must certainly go to it. Give me a second. I haven't done, how many minutes have I done anymore? Um, you've done... Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay, so uh, I'm still within time. You, uh, who was I intend uh, to finish this very, very shortly. Ah, wow. What is this? Okay, Israel. Okay, so please read it. Which one? I'm just going to go straight to the daily guide right now yeah. and ignore Israel Laie, who is, oh my God. Heal the champions. You know what they bore? Right. Like, I'm actually wearing yellow with them. Like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, congratulations to Chelsea as well. Uh, Chelsea got the... They beat Villarreal yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wasn't watching. Shoot out. So Good the two them. clubs that I support have uh, made me proud. I'm Indeed. Proud. So Folk doing the Chelsea. double in Super Cup and Chelsea also. But Chelsea are their champions anyway. I mean, they, they won the something a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, they they won the Champions League. And that's one. And then <laughs> they played uh, uh, Villarreal. The Super Cup. Villarreal that won the Europa yeah. Cup, and then so they've got the Super Cup. You know, my, my favorite thing still about football in Ghana is how people gather at the sports. You know, you see like 50 men standing, and you're wondering why are there so many men standing in one place, and you see some TV behind <laughs> the sports. Like, it's like 20 meters away from them, you know, like, hey, and I'm like, wow, you know? If it helps to keep the peace, you know, what can we well, say? But let's do the daily It's a guide. great sport. I mean, it is, we all yeah. love football. Not all of us, but anyways. <laughs> daily guide, especially no hands of food. Daily guide, front page, serial killer on the loose. Um, so this is about the man who killed his wife. I, I told you that story a couple of days ago. But apparently, um, he was dating a lady in 2016, and she disappeared. But before she disappeared, apparently, on her Facebook page, she had talked about the fact that he was um, abusive and she was a little bit scared of him. So um, the Daily Guide is tagging him as a possible serial killer. She is, she is reportedly dead. They haven't found her, but she's reportedly dead. So hopefully the police will take that up and um, we'll see how that goes. NDC goes dirty upon judge's death. Very, very unfortunate story there. Um, Ohene chairs snit, Tinkran retained. Nana Outdoors, 20-year-old abandoned fire station. Okay, um, some more stories. Actually, why don't we do some international stories again? Taliban back brutal rule as they strike for power. The Taliban has taken over. Well, I said yesterday there were about seven provinces that they had taken over. They may have taken more overnight. I'm slowly trying to get power. Um, which is scary. And what they're doing is they're targeting the provinces that have shared border with Iran. Um, so, yeah, so that's what's happening there. It's on page five in the Daily Guide. Ramaphosa admits rampant graft during time as Zuma VP. Sudan to transfer Omar al-Bashir to ICC over crimes in Darfur. And scale of Russian mercenary mission in Libya exposed. Okay, so private hospitals to pay millions for negligence. Um... I mean, it's not millions, 238,500 CDs. It's not millions. I mean, unless it's old, old Ghana CD. Like, I mean, like, yeah. anyway, minister visit rents control. So the minister for works and housing, Francis Asensu Boache, he was the one who said yesterday that the rent control um, the law, rent act, the rent to act to should be reviewed. Re reviewed and revisited. So we're having that conversation this morning because we want to know what you think about your rent. If you're renting, if you're a landlord or a landlady, um, if you're not like Israel and you're like us regular oh, folk. Oh, no. Us regular <laughs> folk. Um, then, yeah, I'm sure you can relate to the rent You know, let me, just bring, let me just drop this story. So we, when, when we said we were going to do the rent issue, then one of our camera technicians, he approached me with a letter and he said, in fact, virtually everybody here says, yes, they have a problem. With, their, with rent, well, their landlord or mm, something. So he, brought, he brought me a letter. He says, and the issue he raised is landlords who don't want to pay utilities. Mm. So when the bill comes, they share it amongst the tenants. Yeah, that's, that's what my landlady does. The one that really is maintenance, like somehow there's no maintenance. You know, maintenance is your responsibility. Um, so, 
Yeah, something is spots in the house, whether it's the gates, the wall. I'm going to fix this and I'll bring you your bill. So yeah, pe okay. people do yeah, people okay. do a lot, a lot of things. Um, tenants, so they don't pay electricity, they don't, they don't pay, pay water. water. Of course not. I mean, the, the argument is that you are using the electricity and the water. But so, the l landlord is also using it. Yeah, no, so they'll divide it. If there's four people in the house, they'll divide it into four. Regardless of whether there are six people in this apartment too, it's not that kind of, you know, ra we don't yeah. ratio it like no, that. No, but in this case, the guy is saying that the landlord stays off. I mean, Out the guy doesn't take her shit. Oh, shit. she doesn't buy. <laughs> she doesn't buy me. I'm sorry, there's no other argument. Thank you for interrupting me, Israel. Oh, the middle page of the Daily Guide, Wuta Group fight over split. Um, Eminem's ex-wife hospitalized after suicide attempt. I don't know if you've been following the whole, following the whole Amarado and Obibini. No, no, there's that's some beef. On. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Um, face off in latest rap battle, so good, good luck to them. Um, okay, other stories quickly. Survivor of Qatar's attack seeks help. Calls for Oforiata's resignation is needless. Transform Africa pledges support. And, um, ooh, Hima Messi thrills at Tehila Experience 2021. And all set for Touching God's Summit. On the back page, Hearts coach... Oh. It's okay. Hearts coach it. targets African glory. Thank a you. champion Wakazo inspires Shen Shenzhen League playoffs. Messi sure of PSG champs um, league success. Mad rush for his hashtag 30 shirts. And Abu Jones laid to rest. May his soul rest in peace. All right, so let's move to the Daily Statesman now and calls for a resignation of Ken Ofriata needless. And CSOs caught in anti Ghana agenda. Oh. Uh, leaked audios expose plot to scuttle GMPC's plan to put Ghanaians in full control of oil resources. And it has to do with uh, GMPC increasing its stake uh, in the ACA AGM mm. uh, petroleum thing. Now, so the statesman is saying that leaked audios, but if you go into the story, it's actually a Zoom meeting between the, so there's a platform of CSOs in oil and gas. They've had a Zoom meeting. Okay. And they're discussing how to, you know, discuss or bring more light to bear on, or throw more light on the issue. Okay. And of course, some will agree, some will, will disagree, mm -hmm. but yeah, they've lumped them all together and saying that leaked audios exposed to, uh, <laughs> Exposed to GNPC's plan, plan to, to put Ghanaian. But, but yeah, I mean, but if you look at the people on the, in the mentioned in the Dr. Yao Graham and Afi Chinri and Samuel Bekwe, uh, they're, they're people I know personally, and I've been part of such conversations before. Oh. In fact, Dr. Steve Manteo, mm -hmm. who is also a member, he does not agree. He feels that yes, let's put. And the people who are on there don't disagree that GMPC should be in charge. The okay. issues they're raising has to do with how much uh, GMPC is buying the stake for. Mm. So they don't disagree that uh, GMPC should be put in charge. So basically, it's, it's a unfair. little bit sensationalist, yeah, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I, I think it's unfair okay. to, to go this way. Go this way. All right, so that's it for uh, the Daily States. Oh, wow. Are you sure? Okay, yep. the business finder, avoid crisis on labor fronts, patronize made in Ghana goods to sustain 1D1F, that's according to Dr. Kofi Mensa, the MD for ADB. Don't politicize petroleum issues, NPA boss, 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 boss. Okay, a couple of other stories. GSS, UNDP to train journalists on stats. Oh, statistics. I failed statistics at KNUST. It was just, yeah, okay. <laughs> SMEs urged to document and register businesses. So I'm just saying, if you fail stats in school, you can still make it in life. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Ghana, fastest internet speed in Africa. Um, okay, Nestle undertakes tree planting. Oh, businesses of two Makola fire victims restored. Oh, we love to hear that. And um, that's amazing. And um, oh, the scarce commodity called gratitude. Oh. That's interesting. Okay. Yes, by Daniel Delali, actually. Good morning, Delali. I'm sure it makes for a great read, and that's in the finder. Okay, so we go to BNFT, and high food prices in, in the North, the north pushes inflation up again to 9% uh, July, and it's coming from 7.8% in June. Mm. And uh, actually, the Ghana Statistical Service also mentions transportation 
as well as contributing to it. SEC assures a renewed confidence in markets, urges investors to take advantage. Short selling of securities is coming. Sea supplies threaten to hit the streets. And uh, what is good for Ghana must be good for the industry. That's uh, David Ampofu, CEO of the Ghana Upstream Petroleum Chamber. And, uh, yeah. Is that a downstream petroleum chamber? Yes. So the upstream is um, the oil exploration and, you know, the it, was a, the it was a joke, but yeah, never mind. Okay, <laughs> okay, Israel, if you must give me a lecture. And, and the is downstream like... is the yeah. oil, you know, okay. all of that, okay. the petroleum retail, okay. yeah, essentially. Okay, Bank of Ghana partners uh, GISEC and Devriant plus Devriant to pilot ECD. Mm. Makes a Mexican embassy unveils logo for 60th anniversary of Ghana-Mexico relations, and essentially... Yeah, that'll be a bit. And on the back page, Euphoriata swears in SEC GRA uh, SNIT boards. Boards. And President unveils 7.3 million CD rice processing factory at Savalug. Savalug. All right. Okay. Should we go to the online, uh, my joy online? Okay, see what's happening there this morning. Right. And um, well, if we're here to get to that, maybe I should just skip to something else. And Oh. Wow. I just see faces of people I know. Oh my God. Let's unmute them. Guys, unmute. Let's hear you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday Hi, guys. Happy birthday, <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> Two happy, of my... happy birthday. Happy Hello. birthday, Nana hey. Kofi. Hi, guys. Nana <laughs> Kofi, your children are plenty, Papa. Hi, guys. Okay, so tell me about... <laughs> tell, tell me about the, the two people on, on the screen. Okay, so Nana Kofi happy is... Happy birthday! Happy birthday to... Yes, Nana, Nana Kofi is one of my best friends. <laughs> and we are in Roverman together. Na yes, <laughs> Nana Kofi. I've seen Nana Kofi on, on uh, Roverman play. Yes. So is Nisaki. Nisaki is also oh, yeah, 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 on yeah, yeah, yeah. Roverman. He He's my okay. little brother, very troublesome, special. Oh, your um, little, little brother, brother, brother. brother. No, my <laughs> little brother, like I've adopted him because <laughs> nobody <laughs> wants him. Oh, <laughs> aren't you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to, Happy birthday to, love you guys. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I know you heard, I know you heard that. I know you heard that. Thank you guys. Oh, but Nana Kofi, uh, Nana Kofi, where's your wife? Yeah, where's Aku? Ah, uh, he's traveled. Oh, okay. <laughs> to where? The kitchen. Hey, 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 Nima, mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. But my, rega my regards to her. Um, so she was my mate at uh, Greenhill College. Oh, Canada. really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. Oh, that's yes, so fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. I see. That's true. <laughs> oh, you know that. Okay, okay so thank you, yeah. thank you very much for surprising Nima. Bye-bye. Thank Say you bye for bye having us. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. 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 It's true. His children are plenty. Pa. Yes. Nana Kofi. Kofi <laughs> just give him back. Procreator General. Wow, Israel. Wow. Okay. Throwing shade this one. Can we do the online, my joy online or no? No, my joy online this one. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> so as we're taking a break, on the AM show. We have more to come and the rent conversation. We haven't even started that. So do stay tuned in. Up next, we're bringing you sports.